Aloha Small Business Ohana. Today's Marketing Mana Minute tip is show your customer love in the details. I sort of knew I had a problem. I mean, I couldn't just let those little fragments stay on the perforated line on the toilet paper after I ripped my usual three squares. I don't remember when this minor obsession started, but it's been going on for years. I tear the toilet paper and those fragments, they just stare at me, begging to be pulled. The goal? To create a straight line as the product suggests with the perforated straight lines on each square. So I sit there and pick at the little remnants of toilet paper on the roll and I waste time. Sometimes I'll even tear off extra toilet paper to get it straight. I had a feeling this behavior wasn't normal. I never talked about it with my girlfriends and we talk about everything. Recently, I was at Costco and needed to replenish my toilet paper supply. I, along with most women, prefer soft tissue, not the rough commercial grade brands that we have to endure when we use public restrooms. So I grab my Charmin and see smooth tear as the marketing message and think to myself, this is a sad day for marketing if the message about toilet paper is a smooth tear not even putting two and two together and ignoring the years of torment I have caused myself. Until the next time I swapped out my toilet paper roll, didn't remember the smooth tear message and just ripped across the roll my usual three squares. What's this? A curvy edge. What's even better? no little fragments to pick at to achieve a smooth tear. It's done for me. I was amazed, seriously. The next time I went to the bathroom, I just pulled the toilet paper and it was a smooth tear. I find myself looking at the toilet paper roll, seeking the fragments, but they don't exist. I had no idea that the smooth tear would impact my bathroom going experience so much. I feel free and will likely save five to 30 seconds each time I use the bathroom. And that can add up over time. I also feel a bit normalized. There was likely paid research done to explore the consumer problem and develop this new product feature. And I have to say, It's nice to know I'm not the only one who enjoys a smooth tear. I just hadn't named the solution yet, or I was willing to live with this problem because let's face it, it's a minor issue, more of a perfectionist struggle really. So now the question becomes, what do we now call the toilet paper squares that have wavy edges? A square has four straight lines, I'm just saying. If this is my only problem, and I assure you it's not, but if it's even considered a problem, well, life is pretty good. Mahalo Charmin for showing me you understand the struggles we can encounter in the bathroom, no matter how small, and coming up with a creative solution so I can use the bathroom without obsessing about little fragments and straight lines. Share your favorite stories of different approaches and the marketing messages that helped you feel seen and heard below. Mahalo.